Hello lovely, I'm Dr Nicola, it's lovely to meet you. How are you? Good. I'm good, thank you. Nice of you to ask. So, you are here for a full orthopaedic assessment. Is that correct? Good. So, before we actually get into the detailed exam, I just want to jot a couple of notes and ask you a few things, if that's okay. Perfect. So, can I just take your full name? Your date of birth. Can I take your occupation, please? Okay. Do you have a partner? Any children? Just take a contact number, please. Excellent. And just your address. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, I take it you haven't seen a specialist like myself before. Okay, I didn't think you had, but just wanted to check. Okay, now obviously I have read your referral, but I just want you to tell me a little bit about what you are experiencing. Okay. Anywhere in particular? Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, so when you say full body pain. Does that mean you are constantly aching? What kind of sensation? Look heavy, burning, just a really intense ache. Okay. And the pains that you get in your knees, are they different? Yeah? Okay, that makes sense. And your neck. Okay, so you say that's your worst area. Okay, so neck down through the shoulder blades and stop about halfway. Okay. And how would you describe that? Okay, interesting. Okay. So when you go upstairs, does it hurt? Okay. Do you ever get stuck? Does your knees give way? Okay. Does the pain keep you awake at night? Is there any time of day where it's worse? Yep. Okay. No, no, it's fine. Please just 
tell me as much information as possible. That would really help. Okay. Yeah. And do you find that they make noises? Yeah. Okay. What kind of sounds? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would have expected you to say. Mm -hmm. And are you getting any migraines? Yeah. And does that go with your pain in your neck, do you think? Okay. Do you have any jaw clicking, jaw pain? Any problems with your teeth? Have you had your wisdom teeth removed? Sorry to just ask you so many questions. I just want to try and get as much information done as quickly as possible. Okay. Okay. What about in your wrists and your fingers? Do you get any pain? Any cracking? Okay. Ankles? Toes? Okay. So you have had massages, any in particular? It's a couple of sports and just usual massage, okay. And how do you find that? Good, but not the sports massage. Yeah, that's not very comfortable, is it? How did you find that? Yes, definitely to start with, but afterwards it's great. Okay, so you will get a little bit of tingling around the shoulder, down your arm, okay. Maybe when there's pressure there. Okay. What about when somebody touches your skin? How does that feel? Okay. So quite tender. Yeah. Have you ever felt like you've had the flu but no temperature? Okay. Yeah, and everybody else has been fine. Okay. How's your circulation? Do you ever get cold feet, cold hands? What's your body temperature like? Are you always hot, cold, or... Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been diagnosed with lupus or anything like that? Okay. Just checking. What about Lyme's disease? Okay, so that was negative. Okay, good. Okay. Do you have any underlining health issues? Okay, and what? Uh-huh. And are you on medication for your mental health? Yeah, what are you taking? Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been on those? Ah. Right, so you've had a long history of mental health and different meds, but you're quite stable. Okay, good. Any digestive problems? Yeah, so IBS, okay. Um, any other underlining issues? Okay. Got a family history of arthritis or anything like that? Okay. Any history with any spinal issues? Okay. Okay, that's fine. So going back to your pain on a worst day, where would you put it on a scale of one to ten? Ten being the worst. Yeah. Average day, still very, very high. Do you ever get days of relief? Okay. So you've always got something there, even if it's quite mild. You've always got some kind of ache, some kind of pain, dull shooting pains and just a real discomfort. Yeah, okay. Are you taking a lot of pain relief? Okay, so you have tried a good concoction there. 
but I'm thinking maybe the doses are a little bit too low for you, especially if you've been taking them for a while, your body's probably a little bit used to them. But I don't want to bombard you with pain relief or all sorts of medication to start with. All right, I just want to get a better understanding of what's going on and look at alternatives. But when it comes to controlling pain, the most important thing is finding something that's actually going to work for you. Yeah. Just a couple more questions, okay, and then we'll get straight into the exam. Mm -hmm. Ever had any issues with anything when you were younger? Any shin problems, knee problems? Okay. How tall are you, please? Okay. And do you know what weight you are? Okay, would you just pop on the scales for me then, please? Uh, just that. That's perfect. That's good. Nice, good balance there between that and that. Wonderful. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Have you had any recent flu or COVID vaccines? Okay. And when did you last go abroad? Okay. Right. I don't have any here, but have you had any x-rays or scans or anything like that on any joint or spine or brain or anything like that no okay that's fine I'll probably have to get you in to have all those done yeah okay have you ever had physio and you didn't find it effective okay oh, so you had some injections in your head the migraines okay how did you find that ah right okay and i guessing from the medication you've told me you're not on any kind of medication for pain like gabapentin or pregabaling or anything okay that's fine my love so i've got a big enough picture so I want to get straight into the exam, okay? You might find that I'll ask you questions and things along the way, okay? So first things first, if you could just stand up as you would normally. Okay, and sit back down. There's a slight click in your knees there. Is that quite uncomfortable? Yeah, okay. Right, if you can just stand up for me and literally walk straight backwards. Good. And can you turn back around and come back? Great. Now, can you try and walk backwards for me? Okay, a little bit wobbly there. And can you come back? Okay. Right, if you can stand on one leg for me. Okay, bit wobbly there, and the other one. Okay. Right, can you touch your toes or not? Okay, we'll give it a go. It's quite impressive, actually. Better than me. <laughs> okay, I'm back up. Right, now if you can walk that way for me. And back. And that way for me. And back. Okay. Okay. Right. I want you to just pop your arms right out for me. Okay. That's good. And can you just bring them back? Okay. Can you put them up? 
Can you put them down? Good. Can you just do this action? Couple more. Okay. And relax. Can you just pop your arms right behind you like you're doing stretches from an exercise? Okay. Discomfort? Yeah. And that, yeah, I thought you might say that. Okay, back. Good. Now, stretch right out in front. Okay, and relax. Wonderful. Now, just stand as you would normally. Okay? Don't stand over stretched or scrunch or anything. Just be as you would stand normally if you say with a friend or something like that. Okay. Okay, so just checking your posture. Hmm. Just turn to the side for me. Yeah, you haven't quite got the best posture. I know that sounds silly because most people don't have a great posture. I mean, I don't. But it's always just good to see how the spine is going to see if there's kind of any curvatures or anything like that. Okay, just stand normally for me. Okay. Now, if you could just open your legs wide for me so you're standing like that, if that makes sense. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. And back to normal. It's wonderful. Okay, now, if you could just sway for me, but with your hips, okay? So just sway them. That's it, that's perfect. Okay. Now, if you could hold your hip out that way. Yep, that way. And now to this way. Okay. And back centre. Now, if you could just stick your bum out for me. Hold. Just checking your spine. Okay, back. Okay. Now, when you're doing these moves, are you in a lot of pain? Yeah, it's quite a lot of discomfort. Yeah, I can see that in your face. You're struggling a little bit to do some of the movements. A lot of restriction, a lot of tension. And I can see the pain in you, to be honest with you. It's... Yeah, it's quite clear for me to see that. And obviously I can hear all sorts of different sounds going on. Yeah. So obviously that is quite concerning. Yeah. Okay. Now, just stand nice and tall now with a nice straight back. Okay. That's it. That's perfect. Just hold it there for me. And... Does that feel uncomfortable? Yeah, so a lot of people say that when they stand up as you should be, they get lower back pain. So I can see that's what you're doing and that's obviously a lot of tight tension, your body's not used to that. So ignore that pain for a moment. What about anywhere else? Uh-huh, okay. All right, now just go back to normal. Good. Now if you could sit down for me, and I want you to just sit as you would normally. Okay. Yeah. Now sit nice and tall with the straight back. Okay. You're doing really well. It's like a workout, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent, my love. Now, I just want you to take it easy for a moment, okay? Let your body just adjust and just sit in relaxed position. Okay, can you do that for me? Okay. Are you okay to continue? Wonderful. So, 
can get your hand and I want you to just rotate it for me. Okay, when you're ready. Does that hurt? Sure. Okay, what about that? Does that hurt? Okay. This side. Backwards and forwards. And that doesn't hurt either. Okay. Now, same again with your ankle. Does that hurt? Backwards and forwards. Okay, and this side. Okay, and backwards and forwards. Okay, you can stop. So I can hear something this side on your ankle, but not as excessive as this side. Okay, now just shook for me. Okay, shook, shake. Shoulder rotates like this. You do them together. Back the other way. Good. Perfect. Right. So I'm going to pop some gloves on. Do you do any exercise at all? Go to the gym, go for walks, bike rides? Right, so if you do quite painful and a few days to recover. Right, is it okay if I touch you in different places? Okay, perfect. At any time, if you do feel uncomfortable, if you just please let me know. All right, okay, my love. So, you just sit nicely for me, however you are comfortable. All right. How's your skin feel when I'm doing this? Okay. Just let me know if you do feel any pain anywhere, okay? Open your mouth for me. Close. Open. Close.
going to fill around your collarbone. down the centre Have you ever broken any ribs? Any bones anywhere else? Any fractures, torn ligaments, sprains, any car accident injuries? Okay. Take a nice deep breath in and hold it. Feel around your tum, okay, and then that's going to take me down to your pelvic area, okay. I will just be assessing the bones, all right. I do look for any abnormalities along the way, any swelling, any bumps, lumps, things that shouldn't be there. make things, you know, check things are in proportion. How's that feel? Okay. Take a deep breath in, hold it. Relax. Any pain or discomfort? Okay. So, let me just Feel your hip. pain anywhere any pain okay sit down For me, 
any pain. Okay, I'm just going to hold your knee, bend your knees. down for me first thank you stand Hold your knee, bend. Again. Okay, stand on it. turn around for me and keep standing. I'm now going to assess your back, your spine, your neck, your shoulders, okay? Now if you do feel any pain or discomfort, please let me know, okay? Am I all right to begin? Thank you. So quite tender for me to just touch, yeah. That does feel quite warm. Okay, so it's about there, isn't it, the, the worst, okay. Okay, can you just shrug your shoulders? Hold it. Okay, and relax. Can you rotate your shoulders? Relax. Relax. I'm just going to push to your shoulder blades. Yeah, I feel quite a lot of tension and knots there. That doesn't help. Same again there. So I'm just going to have a really good feel around your neck. I'm just going to move. Yeah, I can really feel that. Yeah.
just bend your head forward and backwards back to normal to your left All right, and back to normal. Okay, just going to use this mini little reflex hammer. Just gently tap areas on your back, okay? Let me know how it feels. Excellent, well done. I'm now going to spritz your back with this solution. It's just nice cold water. I'm just going to see how you react. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to do it. Okay, bit of a jump there. Expected. That feel all right? Okay, thank you. Can you feel all that? Can you feel this? That. Good. Can you feel that? How does it feel? Yeah? What do you think it is? Good. Makeup brush. Could have been any brush, but yeah, it was. Can you feel that? That. It's quite sharp, but it won't hurt you. Good. Just going to fill down the backs of your legs, okay? I know I have already assessed them, but just like to check. So if you can turn around for me, great. 
Right, so what I'm going to do is just assess your head rotations. Okay, I'm going to move your head in different positions and I just need you to let your head flop. Okay, then once I've done that, I'm just going to assess your arms, okay, and just your feet. Okay, good, my love. So, I just need you to just relax for me, okay? Good. You're doing really well. You're a bit stiff. Okay. Let's try to relax a little bit more. Can you do that? Well done. Stay there. Good. Hold there. Hold there. Hold. It's really good to stretch as well. Can you keep nice and still? Okay, right. Pop your foot there. Thank you. Not too much, are you? Okay. Other one. Thank you. Okay, put that down. Okay, you are on. Put your arm there for me, thank you. Put 
Pop your arm out for me. Thank you. Other one. Pop your arm out. Okay, hold my hands. Squeeze as hard as you can. Let go. Good. Pop your hand on mine, push against it. Okay, and other one. Okay, perfect. Just going to check your reflexes. Relax for me. Same again. Okay, hang your legs, thank you. Excellent. relax. Just look your hands for me, your fingers, and your toes. Thank you.
Right, you're feeling okay. Good. So, I'm happy with everything that I've done. You're definitely experiencing chronic pain. I think you may have fibromyalgia. All right, all the points that I checked today indicate that is what is wrong with you. Okay, but I am thinking you may have a slip disc, arthritis in your neck, and something going on with your knees. Possibly, if it is arthritis in those areas, you could have it everywhere else as well in other joints. Okay, my love. I don't think there's anything going on with your muscles. I do think it's more to do with everything else, if you know what I mean. So have you heard about those? Okay, what I want to do is send you off some scans. Okay, I'll get you back, then we can discuss them and talk more about fibro and different things like that. Okay, yeah, that's what's indicating to me. And it is very, very real. Okay, the pains that you experience, you know, this talks whether it's going to be autoimmune disease and things like that, but it's like your central nervous system and you are experiencing it and it is absolutely horrendous and nobody will understand unless you've actually got it yourself. I mean you get flu-like symptoms, you can fatigue, ache everywhere, like burning sensations when you touch, your temperature fluctuates, absolutely everything affect your mental health, your digestive system, endless, okay, there's a lot of information behind that and it causes a lot of problems, okay, including headaches and all sorts of different things, a lot of things that you're experiencing. All right, and I think those other areas are probably just extra things and everything is impacting. Okay, so I want you to have an MRI on your brain, your spine. Okay, I want x-rays on your knees, on your wrists, on your ankles. Okay, yes, and your spine, it will go down to your pelvic area. All right, it's quite intense and you're going to be here for quite a while. All right, I'm going to take some blood. Um, I'm going to get in the nurse to do a health check. All right, she's very highly qualified and she's training to be a doctor as well. So she'll be coming in. She's fantastic. You're going to absolutely love her. Her name is Sarah. Okay, yeah, she's brilliant. You'll love her. All right, so and she'll just carry out different checks like that and things. And then you can come back to see me. We'll discuss the scans and go from there. All right, I'll talk about pain management and different things like that. Okay, my lovely. Do you have any questions? Okay, I know I have bombarded you with a lot of information. Okay, so just process the things that I've said. All right, so. I'm going to book... In your scans. It's going to be one slot and you'll be here for a few hours. I want to get you in as soon as possible. I could do next Wednesday at 8. Is that alright for you? Good. Okay, so that will be for all the scans and x-rays. Okay. Then I'll have to get you back probably the week later with me if I can see that. Okay, so Wednesday at 8, is that okay? And that's to chat with me, okay? Right, so let me just add up the next week, see if I can get the nurse in straight afterwards. Yes, so it is perfect. So I have to line you up correctly with your scans, etc., and hopefully get you straight in with the nurse, okay? Junior doctor, nurse. Training a doctor, but nurse, you get the point. Good. I'm waffling now. I'm gonna shut up. Let's book your appointments. Oh. Great, you can do that. That's all booked. Okay, so please allow about four hours to be here. All right. 
can supply you with food and things afterwards. Don't worry about that. The team here are brilliant. You're in safe hands. Excellent. Can I have your email address, please, just so I can send your appointments over? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That should be coming over to you now. Good. And can I just take your number again, please, so I can text you the appointments? Excellent. And you should get that now. Got it? Perfect. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Sorry in these circumstances, but, you know, it's always good to meet new people. And don't worry, we will get you sorted. You're very welcome, my lovely. You take care now. Bye-bye.